Hey guys, this is Elf Lifeform and I'm playing Company of Heroes 2. This mission is called something something bridge to landing red. I think maybe it's like taking it back or something, but uh, this mission is pretty straightforward. I'm not sure why it's not recorded. I feel like I've played it like a billion times and I'm sure I've recorded it before. Uh, probably because I played it, uh, played it a few times during the beta and... Uh, Hopefully at some point I will actually get through it, uh, or I mean just record it and then not and just not erase it later. That would be nice. I've been lazy about making videos and I forget what I did and didn't make. Uh, but this mission is super duper fun. Uh, I've been playing online a little bit more with people against bots. People versus people I only do with like friends. Um, I have like like real people I know that's the only time like I feel like it's not as terrible to lose because we roll in it tech thing um but anyway the campaign is pretty straightforward um pretty easy I would say nothing terribly too challenging uh, considering the way it's designed um I don't know why I'm having a hard time controlling my enemy. But it, it is a pretty game. It's, it's fun to watch combat happen. Um, and uh, when, when I try to remember the first thing, a lot of people said that, like, uh, like, a lot of the complaints I heard about the campaign is that, like, the fact that you get to respawn conscript for free and then makes it less tactical. But what I remember about the first one is, is it, I don't know, like it seemed pretty similar to me to this game. Like you could spawn in rangers that would fly down uh, with parachutes, get out of there, grenade. They would uh, fly down with parachutes and uh, just land wherever you wanted them to. Um, but the, the difference being is that they cost points, but like. I guess there was a few missions that were pretty hard, and I never felt that during this game. Uh, although I didn't play it on general, really. But I don't think I played it on the hardest difficulty, the the first one either. It was just easier. Um, let's see, let me burn them out. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think it's pretty fun. It's just fun to watch I guess like it's I, I experience it more of, of as like an entertainment kind of thing more than a challenging like RTS game like whenever I play this game I'm just I or at least for the campaign I just I do the campaign just to see fun things happen uh, that are fun to like visually fun um, not so much to challenge myself I guess although I could put it in general and, and have it be all challenging I guess. Um, let's take those. Actually, I don't know why I take them. I, I just... I shouldn't, really. Uh, retreat that guy. Let him live. Let him live. Um, let's come over here. E. Kill him. Yeah, I wish grenades killed, killed units like that. Oh, let's, let's keep him back. I know there's uh, another sniper up there, so I'm gonna reinforce my elite squad here. Oh my god, he's down. He's getting shot at. He's getting shot at. M. M. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's go kill that sniper. Uh, the multiplayer is, of course, I thought I think it's amazing online. Uh, it's unfortunate that it's very uh, so similar to the other one, but. Uh, Ah, what can you do? You know, they only have so much resources and like, why, why fix what's not broken, you know? I mean, like, how, how many people would actually have, if they had the opportunity to work on a game, would have made the decision to make it drastically different? Um, I guess. I don't know. I just want to find some, oh, I just want to see if someone makes, like, mods where things are just futuristic. I think this game would be awesome if it was just reskin everything to be futuristic and it would be amazing. Um, 
like Halo, or, Halo would be awesome for this type of warfare because you ha you would actually have like tactical squad leadership type decisions. Um, the way Halo Wars wasn't. I thought Halo Wars. Uh, I, I played the game a lot when it first came out, and it was just kind of all like moving. I mean, I understand it was on the console, and it, it's like how can you make a really strategic game on the console and I thought oh, they could probably do it and then it was like yeah they kind of, it's kind of really hard with the controller and then wherever your mouse was pointing your screen would move to move the screen and the mouse so that it wasn't fun to look at really to constantly move it like that it got really irritating but uh, it wasn't a terrible game I don't think it just wasn't like amazing what is it? Uh, this time I'm not gonna grab this cannon. I'm just gonna focus on what's on the field. I'm just gonna try and rush through most of this and see how that goes. Uh, I wanna have a uh, healing ladies and uh, tank, anti-tank grenades. Sure, why not? Um, let's see. Can I spawn tanks in? Just the little ones. Eh, I'll just go in like this. This should be enough. Maybe a sniper would help. Yeah, I'll build a sniper. Maybe two. Two never hurts. Anyway, as soon as my squads heal up a little bit more, I'll move forward and uh, take on some enemies. Uh, let's see, is this guy gonna stop? And B. Boom. Really can survive that. That's cool. One of the things I figured out in, uh, in playing multiplayer, we, me and this random guy played uh, a game of, uh, why is it, why are these guys still not healed? We played a game of two versus two and the computer was standard and I kind of knew we would win but the uh, best thing to do is rush, oh my god, get out of there. They should not have been able to move that far up. The best thing to do, what? Every, what just happened? My whole army just like got killed. Yes, That's irritating. I, get, I guess I'll just. Have... Okay. Everything just died. Amazing. And it keeps dying. I know it's this thing right here, but like, come on. Like I'm trying to get my forces to a place where I can at least use them. <sighs> I do wish there was like a little bit more standardized damage in this game, like I seriously had like one time where my whole army died, or my whole squad died in a multiplayer game because like all my guys bunched up together, so they all just uh like perfectly get killed like they all get hit by the same grenade and it was amazing that they all get killed that way and you can't you know you can't control if your squad is uh grouping up like that they just they just will do that and so you just that's it um so i guess i'll just buy conscripts from here on out because every it because why not i mean why buy anything else Clearly, I just got punished for having a diverse army. They just all died. Oh, that was irritating. I mean, just kill him, you know. Uh, let's see, engineers to heal the tanks. Alrighty.
kind of wish uh, they made a. Sh I, I wish they would design this stuff where um, when you select one unit, it'll show like its specific ability that it's able to do. So you can kind of control one or two or three for that specific unit, so you can get faster to it. I wish if you selected your army, all of the abilities of that force were laid out on this screen. So like, if you selected all of them. And now you had access to all the abilities, like simply put. So if you had the tank and the infantry, you would have whatever the Molotov cocktails and you know anti-tank rounds or anti-tank grenades, and the, there are special rounds for the uh, SU, whatever they're called, the SU-76. Like that would be neat to be able to control your army when you select all of them as one unit, so you don't have to be like. Well, I have my whole army selected, but I can't have the special abilities. I have to press one to select the tanks or whatever, you know, whatever they're selected. Um, that, I think that'd be neat if they did that, um, or some game did that where that would be feasible. I think that would be kind of hard for this game, just because of the way it's designed. Sometimes even when you have three, uh, like if you select all your conscript squads in the multiplayer game and you tell, like you press uh, V for a Molotov cocktail and you tell it to go and, oh my god, is this really happening right now? I told them to barrage that like place and so, that's just awesome. Uh, Anyway, uh, like I was saying, you'll have three squads that will, that will, uh, you'll, you'll tell all of them to shoot a Molotov cocktail, but the, the squad that actually gets told to throw that, that is programmed to like, actually execute that order will be the one all the way in the back, so by the time they get there, the situation is already diffused in some other way, and they'll, like, they won't get, they won't get there in time. And so, like, the thing you want it to happen won't happen ever in time. So it's like, for this game, it might not work that way. But if they could fix that um, to where, obviously, when you, you're being pinned down by the machine gun and you guys are about to get pinned down, you just want the closest squad to, you just want the closest squad to, to throw a grenade just to take care of that situation. But they'll be like, yeah, well, the guy in the back wants to do it. So it's going to take a while. So that, that's kind of irritating. It would be nice if you could select the whole army and have, have all the abilities available. So you could just be like, VH, you know, whatever, whatever. They can do what you want. Instead of this uh, type of... Alright, I'm kind of nervous about doing this because the last time they just all missed into like the same point. Which is awesome. And that happens. take that one over because I remember it really helped last time uh, just simply because I know where the enemy is so as long as it doesn't die actually get the tanks out of there get the tanks out of there so they don't destroy it accidentally uh, just let the infantry take it out all right I'll get a conscript squad to take over it out of here now press B and uh, I guess it's not available yet I guess I'll just bomb this place because I know there's probably stuff there Still firing. No need for something uh, dying in my own men. Not one step back, comrades. Enemy infantry down. What? 
still firing, I guess. Look at how it's shooting within like this perfect like little uh, perimeter. Whereas if I actually needed it to, it would just be like here, 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 and then one would kind of hit something. Uh, Alright, you guys can stop shooting now. I need to move forward. Besides nothing get hit anyway. Except for the useful uh, guys that I was going to take over. Retreat under penalty of death. Disposal. Good work, comrades. This now belongs All right. to us. They can heal my tanks. have to build back down. So we'll just control one this. Yes, comrade. And let's just shoot here. Target them with an artillery barrage. Two two seven. Oh, have selected. So efficiently. Oh, anyway. Whatever. Weird how good that position is already. And it covers all of this and this. It's really quite amazing. You guys cannot be here. It's okay, you guys can totally retreat. The Soviet Union will totally forgive you. Um. See, do I have engineers? engineers I sure do. I'll need That's those for repairing my uh, da, da. armor. The Germans are preparing a counterattack. This Fortify is this territory counter barrage. Hmm. I don't think there will be any, so. Second now, they should be coming.
So far, so good. Everything's positioned pretty well. Who wants to be there? German armor incoming! Penal battalion troops are now available. <clears throat> Not dead at all. Yeah, whatever, I guess the infantry can die. Just throw that grenade at him. Just throw it. There you go. Shoot it one more time. There we go. Not good at all. Satchel over there. See, by the time they throw, I mean, that. I want to see. See, why is it that guy? And, like, I think that guy was in rage to throw it. Could have been done a long time ago. All right, I guess we won that battle. We've destroyed the bulk of their armor. Clear out the remaining enemy garrisons and right, now these guys ours. can shoot over here. And you just happen to know this is where the Germans are hiding. So we're just going to barrage that place. That's primarily why I wanted to capture that. It's going to help out a lot in taking out the rest of this. Stand your ground for the road. destroyed pretty much. I'll buy two of these. You guys merge. I just need to have some anti armor ready. Uh, I think I want that machine. Well, you retreat and heal. Step back, comrades. You have a use for this scum. On the move, Peter Squad. I have the men ready. 
merge. This is not going as quiet as fast as I would have hoped. Light machine gun. It's weird that they made the. I think it's kind of weird that they made the penal battalion is the last thing you get. Like it's the best thing. Cause uh, aren't conscripts at least somewhat trained? And penal penal battalions were people that did something that the army thought was wrong, and then you would be sent to a penal battalion where you would like be used to clear landmines or whatever. Uh, you know, like you would walk across a field until you blew up, or you would just be told to charge into like a enemy position with nothing in your hands, just to be like, just to make the enemy, you know, divert the enemy from knowing where the actual forces are or whatever. So it's weird that the penal battalion is like the last thing you get. It should be like the first, and they should have like nothing. Just that one guy has a rifle and the other guy has some bullets. Or something. I don't know. Might be a bit harsh, but. And you should get like 50 of them. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, back out. Oh, they're dead. Back out, back out, back out. I might have enough stuff to push through. I just like to have everything healthy, but it might not even be necessary at this point. So I'm not even sure if I should waste time. Oh, that's cool. My base is here now. Might be able to just finish out the rest of the mission with what I have. Get the AI to care of it for the most part. You know what I thought was weird is that I found out that. Your own tanks can do damage to your own guys. I thought it was just artillery shells and mortar rounds, but apparently when you're attacking bases you have to be very careful advancing with infantry because your artillery pieces and tank, all that stuff, if it hits close to your own guys, it will cer certainly do damage and your allies' tank also. So that's the thing that sucks about infantry also is that like, Tank won't hit, get hit from shrapnel or whatever, but uh, infantry will. No oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's put these guys there. And that's one of those irritating things um, that I don't, I'm not a really huge fan of. Let's see, B. 
Or can they shoot? Oh, they can't because it's not the kind of cannon that I thought it was. Let's see. B. Oh, they can't shoot too far. Anyway, I didn't. I totally wasted that. I shouldn't have put a guy in there. I thought, I thought it was one of those super long range ones. Can it hit from there? What's this range? No, there is no way. Withdrawn order two two seven. You need something? We need that repair quickly. Take it. I have fire! the ready. For now, we must continue on. That's where the rest of them are. That's awesome. I think I'll just leave that sniper there for comfort. For sure, we were gonna get to see a cool uh, view of it die. I don't even care at this point, just uh, kill it. Stand your ground for the Rodina. We beat it. I knew, I knew I would. Uh, supply lines into Leningrad. There, was, there was only one time where I really had trouble with the mission for some reason. And I think that's just because I focused on the points and not... If you just move to those two points, you'll get everything. And uh, just make, make sure you have anti-armor stuff. Because that's primarily what that mission's about. Just take, taking out those tanks. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, I will be making more videos. So if you like it, you know, watch more videos or whatever uh so thank you for watching and uh as soon as that find f9 uh thank you for watching and goodbye